Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. All right, so today we're going to get into some more trends for 2024. And this video is going to be about bags that's going to carry you through the rest of winter, spring, and then fall. So pretty much the entire year. So I'm going to get into different styles of bag, not necessarily the brand of bag, but I am going to give you some ideas on who carries what. If you are a person who loves higher end bags, I have some of those. And if you're a girly who wants a little bit something on the budget side, I have some of those as well. So the first style of bag are the baguettes. Okay, so the baguettes are practical bags. They're small enough to put your everyday things in it like your cell phone, your keys, your lipstick, some lotion, possibly a mirror. Very practical bag for an everyday use. Now, if you are looking for something that is on the higher end side, you guys know the Fendi baguette is super, super nice. I am going to pop in a photo. So I love this bag so much so that it is on my wish list. Now, I'm not a girl who wears a ton of small bags because I am tall. So for my tall girls, you girls already know, I don't like really tiny bags on us unless it's like a clutch or something. But the baguette, I think it's a really good size for someone who is 5'10", so probably like 6'2", possibly. Uh, but when it comes to the strap on the bag, so just be careful if you feel like it's too small. You could always buy another strap that has adjustable, you know, parts to it where you can adjust it to your liking. If you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, Coach has the Studio Baguette Bag. Very affordable. I still... In my opinion, I think Coach has some of the best leather bags. Now, it's not as good as it used to be back in the day. However, they still, to me, have really, really nice leather bags. So if you're looking for something that has less of a logo, definitely go for the Coach bag. And it's super, super affordable, guys. If you're looking for something that is kind of in the middle of those two, not super low, not super high, but a nice good price, Jill Sonder has really nice bags. And this Canolo leather bag is super cute, in my opinion. Now, some of her stuff is really pricey, but I think this is a good amount to pay for a bag if you're trying to stay trendy for the rest of 2024. So check her out, check out the Fendi bag, and definitely check out the Coach bag. The other style of bag would be unexpected weird shapes, okay? Now, weird shapes are not always in, but there are women who have a ton of weird shaped bags because this is just what they love. Now, for 2024, these bags are going to be in, and you can definitely find something that's affordable either on Amazon or even on Etsy. Now, I am a firm believer of not really spending too much money if it's a trend like that. I'm a classic style girl. If it is something that is a little different in the style, I'm gonna go for classic in color, if that makes sense. So, Marnie has a really, really nice bag, not super expensive, and it's called the Prisma Triangle Shoulder Bag. Really cute, not over the top, even though it's a different shape of a bag, I still think it's kind of classy, like it's not too over the top. I think it's affordable. When I say affordable, let me see. Okay, this may be a bit much for some, but if I'm gonna say affordable, I would say 1500 and under. And the reason why I'm saying 15, it may still be a lot to some is because you can find really great bags either brand new or on the pre-loved market that are in great condition for that amount of money. And to be quite honest, guys, you could definitely save up for a bag that you really, really want. You don't have to, but if you really wanted something brand new, you can definitely do that. But the Marnie bag, I absolutely love. I think it's still classic when it comes to the style of it, even though it's a different shape, it's still a really nice bag. Colt Gaia has amazing bags. Affordable, in my opinion. I think they have really nice shoes as well. Just different styles and just cute little pieces that make the bag unique. So they have the Thalia bag, which I absolutely love, guys. Now this bag has a unique handle and it also has a unique shape at the bottom, almost like a pyramid. In my opinion, this is something that I would carry out to dinner at night. Super, super cute. Like I said, they have really nice bags and they're very, very much so affordable. 
And one thing I do like about them is that their logo is on the bag, but it's not over the top on the bag. So you know that it's a Coke guy a bag, but very subtle logo. But the handle is beautiful. It has like a Twitter show handle. It's round. Very, very cute. From looking at this, <laughs> if you have smaller hands, you can probably stick your hand through. But I would recommend carrying it like this. Very cute bag. Very unique in style. And definitely something that I would definitely wear for the rest of 2024. Now I have seen this bag on one or two influencers that I, uh, I don't even know who they were. I, it was on Instagram, but I know I saw it on the feed. And it's the Coperny, I believe that's how you pronounce it, heart tote bag. It's so cute. They have a mini version, which I'm gonna pop in, which is the red patent leather one. And then they also have a larger size. Now something like this is like an everyday bag. Because it's like a half-shaped heart, and it's kind of like a flat bag, I wouldn't recommend putting something bulky in there because you don't really want it to like press against the bag and show the imprint. So like a nice small wallet that is slim. Um, if you do have keys, maybe stick it on one side or stick it inside of something else to keep the bag in great condition. Uh, but I really, really love this bag and I think I'm gonna probably get it for the spring because I like it, it's fun. And me, I'm probably gonna get red, okay? I think you guys should check it out. Like I said, they have a mini version and they do have a larger version. So stripes are in and I was able to find one really, really cute bag that I think is really cute it's not over the top <laughs> but it's definitely something that i feel like will bring a little bit of edge to your outfit if you have on an all monochrome black outfit you can definitely wear this mark jacob stripe bag if you're a girl who does not like silver or like gunmetal color this is not the bag for you but i think it's a really really nice bag a good size i don't think it's newer in um Marc Jacobs like new arrivals but I don't think it's like old I pulled it up because I like it it's subtle it's not too over the top with the stripes because the bag is not really big but definitely check out bags with stripes on them if you don't want something that is super wide and I guess I would say Beetlejuice style <laughs> stripes you can get something that has a little bit of subtle stripes and still pull off that same look for your trend for 2024. So now we're gonna go into effortless chic, like I guess you could say slouch bags, right? Back in the day, slouch bags used to be so on trend, but for a really long time, a lot of people were getting into more structure bags, which I still absolutely love. Hobo style bags are cool. Um, and these slouchy bags are cool. If it's not your thing, definitely skip this trend, but they're back in full effect. <laughs> um, they have really small ones and they have really, really large ones. They have affordable ones and they have some that are like super expensive. So Monster Gabriel, I have said this before, I love the leather that they choose to use for their bags. And this is the Soft M slouch bag absolutely love it it's a very sleek in style it doesn't have a bunch of stuff going on or any logos but it does have a nice subtle crisscross in the front very soft leather and it's a large so this is something that i would carry every day like a tote just going out maybe putting my laptop in and reading through everything you can put like a size 16 inch laptop in it so you can definitely use it as your go-to bag when you're running out and you want to go work at a cafe or something. The next bag is the Bottega. I think it's called Intraseto bag. I think that's how you pronounce it or Intraseto bag, something like that. But I like the weaving of this bag. Now initially, I wasn't really into like weavings, weaving leather. It just was giving me like grandma vibes <laughs> but this is a really large bag so if you want something that is on the higher inside go for this bag but i am gonna tell you check amazon first okay <laughs> do some searching for leather bags that are that have the same style so you don't have to spend close to forty five hundred dollars on a bag um the goal is to kind of like pull in things that are trendy but not necessarily always have to buy the original if that makes sense because there are a lot of companies that make and small business owners that make bags that are 
great in quality. So definitely give that a look and some of those other designers as well. So when it comes to the Bottega bag, it does have a really nice gold handle at the top for your shoulder and it's like a curved shape. So again, the bag is not the cheapest, but it's actually a really nice bag. So if you are looking to add something like that to your wardrobe, definitely check out Bottega. So the other style of bag would be patent leather bags. Now hear me out, patent leather is not for everyone and I've never really been like a super, super fan of it, but I did buy a really nice tote bag from Mango like right before I went to Portugal, probably like over a year ago. And it's a really nice bag. They had it in red and they had it in black. I waited super long so I was not able to get the red one, but I did get the black one and it was so worth it. So for me, patent leather is still like in, right? Good for rainy days, especially if it's like a tote. Now, Alaya has a really cute heart bag. Now, it's not the cheapest. However, it's still really cute. It's not really a practical bag in my opinion because it is a heart shape, but it's a cute bag. Now, the other bag by Max Mara, people who sleep on Max Mara, it's, it's giving me like a Speedy style or a Louis Vuitton, duffel bag style but a smaller version but it's absolutely cute so you can find this bag pretty much on sale right now probably anywhere really cute it's patent leather it's still on trend it's a really nice shape and on sale so that means that it's affordable <laughs> right now and then we have the YSL Sadie oh, they, it says Sadie but it could be I'm gonna say it's Sadie <laughs> um we could say Sade <laughs> But the Sadie bag is the YSL version. It's a really nice clutch. Now, years ago, this bag came out and it was shaped a little bit different because I remember seeing it in like a mustard color at the mall in, in Atlanta. But the patent leather version is super cute. It, this is a really large clutch. So my tall girls, this is for us, okay? If you're into clutches, definitely check this bag out, patent leather. They have newer versions now that are satin. They're cheaper, um, but they do have like a pretty pink color and I believe they have it in black and a tan color. The pink is really, really pretty. So if you're into colors, definitely check that out. But the pattern leather version, add it to your list so you can be a part of this trend for 2024. So let's get into the last style of bag and that would be chrome bags. Now ever since Beyonce's Renaissance tour, <laughs> chrome has been like everywhere. And it's literally not going anywhere. So Jack and Moose came out with something. All the girls bought that bag. Now for me, I don't know how the quality is with Jack Moose bags. So I do not own one until I go to the store and actually see them in person. I don't know if I'm going to actually get one. There's no sense to buy something and the quality of the bag is not good. It's just pointless to me. So I'm not gonna buy it, but I know the girls were getting it, which leads me to uh, this bag. Coach Tabby shoulder bag in metallic. Very, very cute. One of my friends purchased it. It's a really nice bag in person and it's very heavy, but in a good way. Uh, but it's too small for me. But for those of you girls who like smaller bags, definitely check it out. It's a beautiful, shiny, metallic color. But if you are gonna go for the chrome style bags for spring and the rest of winter, I would say figure out which style you like. Which leads me to the next bag. The Dries Van Newton Small Leather Tote Bag. They're calling it a tote, but it literally does not look like a tote. So here's the difference between the Coach Bag and the Dries Bag. The color of the bag. It's still a silver. So if you take a look at the Coach Bag, it's a very shiny color. And then the Dries is more of a muted silver color. That is more my speed. So that's what I mean by pick what works for you and not necessarily what everybody else is wearing. If you're not a girl who does not like shiny things, don't get it. Go for something like the Dries one. I prefer the Dries because it gives me more of a leveled up look. It's much more muted for my taste and my style. Then we have Jimmy Choo, the Cali Silver Metallic Bag. Very cute. I think the style of this bag is amazing for an evening time or an evening wear or whatever. 
Uh, it's not super expensive. Now, one thing about Jimmy Choo is that they do have nice evening bags. And I feel like they always have a bag that goes with a shoe, if that makes sense. Um, but definitely check out this bag. Affordable. If it's not affordable for you, definitely check Amazon and check Etsy. Etsy has a ton of stuff. And then we have all these other small businesses that have nice leather bags that you can definitely give a try as well. And the last chrome bag is going to be the Fendi Crowley bag. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's the, it looks like the baguette bag if, uh, to me. Uh, but it does have the chrome metallic look to it. It's very bright. So I don't know if it's something that you guys would want the F's to be all over your bag on. But if that's your thing, girls, go ahead and get it. Uh, if you want something a little bit more subtle, like I said, go for the Dries Van Newton bag. I absolutely love that one. Um, but Chrome is going to be in. And here's the thing. Chrome is not just in the bags this year. I'm seeing people bringing Chrome back into their homes. Uh, so it's everywhere. So really just depends on you. If you are a gold girl like me, you may not get any of the Chrome bags, right? <laughs> and if you do, you might get something small like I said, and much more muted just to be a part of the trends. Those are the style of bags that's gonna be worn through this winter, spring, and fall, pretty much for the rest of the year for 2024. If you have bags in your closet already that match this style, comment below. If you don't, which style of bag are you gonna be wearing? For me, I think for me, let me be real. I like the baguette bags, but I think what I wanna do is kind of get some of the older bags that are I'm not gonna say that they're out they're not so new so some of the Fendi bags that I absolutely love the style of that Fendi first bag that has been on my wish list for forever I have not bitten the bullet yet and I, don't, I just know this so you know how you have things going on in your life and you're just like do I really want to do this right now you know just so I'm just being smart but it is on my list and I know I'm gonna get it before before my birthday, I'm gonna get it. And this is logical shopping. This is not me shopping every week, spending four or $5,000 in a bag. It's just not what I do. But the Fendi first bag is one of those bags that I'm gonna get into my collection girls, okay? So things like that, I do not always go for trendy things, but I go for things that kind of go up my wardrobe. But I digress. Those other bags, the bags that people are going to be wearing this 2024, they're not going to go out of style if you pick bags that are great in color and great in quality. So even though the style may be a little quirky, you can get something that still can stand the test of time if you go based off of the color and the quality. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog Coco Styles NYC and my style services Coco Styles NY and I'm on tickety tickety talk Coco Styles NYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.